on existence. Commander Jenny Hanna live every Monday night on the same website, www.isbk.com. Make sure you're paying your tithes and donations. Support the men of the Lord. Like, tithes is a commandment just like not eating pork is a commandment. That's a lie. Damn shame. Damn shame. What a Negro will do to get some money. Yeah, we talking about money again. Shalom. I'm Isaac. Back with another scriptural slashing on false prophets and false doctrines. And I'm going to get right into it. I'm going to prove to you today, once again, you know black folks are hard-headed. Shout out to Sakari, by the way. That young Haitian is destroying GMS, man. Destroying GMS. Good job. But anyway, I'm going to show you that tithes, according to the Bible, are actually considered to be, well, according to the Lord, it's holy food. When you think of tithes, think of holy food eaten in God's chosen place. So let's prove it. Deuteronomy 12 and 17. Thou mayest not eat within thy gates the tithe of thy corn, or of thy wine, or of thy oil, or the firstlings of thy herd, or of thy flock, nor any of thy vows which thou vowest, nor thy free will offerings, or heave offering of thine hand. Verse 18. But thou must eat them before the Lord thy God. In the place which the Lord thy God shall choose, thou and thy son and thy daughter and thy manservant and thy maidservant and the Levite that is within thy gates, and thou shalt rejoice before the Lord thy God in all that thou puttest thy hands, thine hands unto. Take heed to thyself. That thou forsake not the Levite as long as thou livest upon the earth. First off, I can't I want to see any one of these fools prove that they're Levite priests. Any one of them. Show me the proof that you are a Levitical priest according to the laws of God. Any one of you groups out there, any one of you one West flunkies that demand tithes from people. You show me proof that you're a Levitical priest. Number one. Number two. Negro. To Zaya, you reprobate. I slashed you years ago on Facebook. And here you are again. Top coon of ISUPK. 2015 is going to be interesting, man. How, how do you explain that? Why are you collecting tithes outside of Jerusalem? Why, first off, why are you collecting it as cash? Why are you collecting tithes as cash outside of Jerusalem? Explain that. That should show you, brothers and sisters out there, that this is nothing more than a racket. Deuteronomy, the 12th chapter, the 17th to the 19th verse, clearly proves that tithes are a sacred thing. Holy food to be eaten in God's chosen place. God's chosen place is not Harlem, New York City. And it's not in the Bronx either, Vernon. Shabbat, you listening? Yeah, I know you are. I know you are. I know all you One West flunkies are listening. All right? And you fools that want to continue to send them your money, even though you watch this video, and I've proven to you according to the law, according to the law, that these men are not to be getting your hard-earned cash. Keep your money in your pocket. I'm not asking you for money. Keep it in your pocket. Now, if you want to donate money to somebody here or there, you think you're doing it for a good cause, hey, that's on you. But as far as this thing about tides being a law, Pork is being a law, that's not eating pork is being a law, that's a damn lie. Because all you should be ashamed of yourself, man. But see, I got I see I gotta stay on you because uh your leader, your God, Yohanna, keeps coming and talking this BS, basically being a troll, trolling my pages 
private. Because apparently, I guess something in the videos that he's seeing or hearing is not sitting well with him or his cult. So, you know, GMS is already dead, thanks to that brother Sakari. I mean, you know, it's, I mean, really, say what you want, but I mean, Bakwash killed GMS. I put the nail in the coffin. And right now, Gorilla Hebrew is lower in the casket. Only thing left is to put the dirt over the casket. That's pretty much it. And that goes for the rest of uh, One West Coon. But oh, by the way, Yohanna is also in violation of Deuteronomy, the 18th chapter, the 20th to the 22nd verse, because he also is a false Y2K prophet. You also taught that America will be destroyed in the year 2000. So, it's curtains 